This is part three of my trip to British Columbia with my mother and sister. If you saw the last video, you'd know that we made our way to Vancouver Island on our travels. We're checking into the Best Western Plus. Helena, this is where we're staying, potentially in one of these rooms. Today we ended up in Victoria, an incredibly walkable city where everything you need is within a few minutes, practically any direction. Choosing a direction was the most difficult element of this portion of our trip. And that's what I want to talk about today. Choosing a direction and why it's okay to double back. I started out this portion of the trip excited to wander around and see the sights. It was my first time in Victoria, and I was ready to take it all in. What I should have expected was just how many directions I could have chosen to go in and how, when you have limited time in a space, you just need to choose a direction and go. This brought us to what I would call, as a non-local, the downtown core of the city. It was filled with character, color, textures and vibes. And also this. I spoke in a previous video about revisiting old places and how your experience of a place at one time can drastically change when revisited. Looking back on these photos, that surely rings true. The direction you choose doesn't need to be the direction you remain on. The choices you make can evolve. You can decide to go back. You can change your trajectory. It takes effort. It takes time. But what worthwhile decision doesn't? I look forward to making decisions and choosing directions that bring me back to places that bring me joy. And forward to places to create new enjoyment. If you're enjoying my content, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Beginning next week, I am starting a new series that I hope to get up on my channel quickly. Let me know if there's anything you're curious about from my videos in the comments. Thanks again and until next time, adios.